Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Custom Modded Skyblock. And as you can see, I've been a little busy. I uh, managed to build the monster mob farm, whatever. And we got some activity going on here. We get a few spawns. Got a lot of bats in there for some reason, so I'm going to try to take them out. They kind of limit how many hostile mobs spawn in here, but that's not too bad, actually. Ooh. What's this? Oh, I didn't see anything. I thought I saw something. But let's check this out. We get a cake, which is actually kind of awesome because we're getting a little low on food, as you can see. That's going to be pretty much the next big thing that we're going to work on is food. But I forgot to mention in the last episode the silkworms that you can get from these trees with the crook you can cook them. And they make okay uh, not starve to death type food. So it helps. And I've got some more barrels here filled with water. It rained, I made a couple more barrels and things like that. But for right now, I want to make something here. And with these hammers, you can break down cobblestone, breaks it into gravel, gravel into sand and sand into dust. And I only need three for this. You put it in a barrel full of water and it turns into clay. Then with the regular gravel, sand, and dust you can put in the sieve to... well it normally gives you something. I got an iron ingot from a zombie which is cool I need one more iron ingot to do what I want to do I want to make a pair of shears but for that I need more stuff so first thing we're gonna do uh, we can't do that Mm, interesting. That's right, I don't have tinkers. Oh well, that was kind of a bummer. I forgot that I don't have that mod installed, so I can't make that. However, I can make this, which is going to be very useful. shape it in that form we have an unfired crucible we'll put that in there this here I made because this is where my water source is going to be I'm going to use these two buckets to make an infinite water source so we can have basically infinite water so while we're waiting for that let's go back out here and see if we can get another one of those loot bags. No? No loot bag? Come on, bat. Oh, we got a couple. Awesome. And more bones. There's a bat over here. I know it's hard to see because it's dark. bats out of here so I can spawn legendary we got another golden apple not a big deal spawn bat yay alright 
Now let's put this stuff up. Well, at least it's a spawn egg of some sort, huh? Okay. We don't need any more clay at the moment. I had another golden apple, creeper head, things like that. From that stuff. All right, now. Let's see if we can get some iron. Because now not only do we need shears, now we need enough iron to make a bucket. I think, however, shears will be the first priority. So I'm not going to do this right now. Do a lot of sieving on camera. Just we'll just go through this and see what we get. And we got a diamond. You know, that's kind of cool. We're getting some coal. Doesn't look like we're getting any iron though. No, we're getting flint. Although I did go ahead and put um, Ender IO in this mod pack because there's some stuff I wanted from that. So let's just. Oh, there's some zombies in here. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to get another. Okay, loot bags are always good. So maybe we'll get lucky enough to get some iron out of a loot bag. Doesn't seem to be any bats in there. So let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Electrical steel. Okay, never mind. Epic loot bag. Gunpowder. We have a bucket. That's awesome. That's like one of the best things we could get. Oh, an ender sword, some gold. Okay, now we're starting to get a little somewhere. That bucket was pretty cool. Because now we have. Okay, I'm going to take this one out. Because I don't really need that one. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put one bucket of water right there. And the other bucket of water is going to go right... Oh, get out of there. Okay, there. Now, infinite water source. That's an achievement. That will help us a lot because... Now, if we can start getting some dirt, we can start uh, plotting out a place where we're going to put a farm. So we can start growing some food for ourselves. Because, as you can see, we've got some seeds. Melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, sugar canes, some regular seeds, potato seeds, and well, we've got grass seeds. That can't really do anything for food. But... In the long run, that'll be a big help. Okay, bones, arrows. <clears throat> I'll start using the ender. And we'll put our bucket up in here so nothing happens to it. And of course we can shut this mob farm off as well just by placing a torch inside of it. But for the moment, we want it running. Because a lot of our resources... I know that's very loud. A lot of our resources are going to come from this mob farm. From the loot bags. Shut up Mr. Zombie, you're loud. Okay, and a lot of our dirt's going to come from there too. Let's see what we have in this common loot bag. Dark steel, arrow, iron ingots, awesome. 
and the staff of traveling. Staff of traveling, that's kind of a, at least at the moment, it's kind of a mediocre thing. But these, that is going to be awesome. Because with that, we're going to be able to get a lot of resources with those shears. And where did I put them? I left them in here. Not a big deal. Okay. The reason why I wanted the shears so much is what I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have enough iron for a bucket and for shears, which was my main goal here, I'm not going to clear out these trees on camera. I'll do that and just keep going at it between episodes. Is you can take these leaves in these barrels at eight per barrel. You can make a ton of dirt out of these leaves and that's why the shears were so important because now we don't have to worry about wasting our saplings we can just use what we've already got you know what we're already producing in mass quantities the leaves to start producing dirt and of course we're going to be taking that dirt, turning it into stone. We're going to be taking the stone, turning it into gravel, sand, and dust to uh, put through our sieve to turn into other resources like iron and all of that. And once we start getting those resources, we can start building some machines. Coal, another bucket, which is kind of good. Oh, oh, that right there, ender lily seeds. That is amazing. Yes, they take forever to grow. They're from Ender IO. But with these ender lily seeds that will allow us to grow ender pearls which are a very kind of rare resource that we don't have at the moment so that's going to be something very good and not only are we going to need dirt to make stone to make gravel etc etc we're gonna also need dirt to get a little farm started and now that we have a bucket and an infinite water source we can do that but I think our farm and things like that are gonna be in the next episode so, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is about all the time we have for today. So, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.